A problem that may be faced by all of them who are new to the cybersecurity world is how you can send a file, payload, or host a phishing site without port forwarding your network. So what is the meaning of port forwarding and why it needed? I have already a video in my playlist where I explain all about port forwarding. Click the i button to watch now. Hello everyone we are back again with a new video. In this video, we are going to learn how you can install and configure ng-rock on your Linux machine. So before getting started make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and also press the bell icon to stay connected with my upcoming video. Now let's see what ng-rock is and how it works. ng-rock allows you to expose a web server running on your local machine to the internet. Just tell ng-rock what port your web server is listening on. If you don't know what port your web server is listening on, it's probably port 80, the default for HTTP. Let's see how does it operate. You download and run a program on your machine and provide it the port of a network service, usually a web server. It connects to the ng-rock cloud service which accepts traffic on a public address and relays the traffic through to the ng-rock process running on your machine and then onto the local address view. Specified. Now we are going to install ng-rock on my Kali Linux. You can also install ng-rock in Windows. So let's install it. First of all, you have to download ng-rock from their official site. The link is in my description box. Click download to download the file. Unzip the downloaded file. To unzip the file, right click on the file and click extract here. Otherwise, you can use the terminal as well. Open terminal from here. Here on the terminal type sudo unzip followed by the file. Type ls to check the existed file. Before installing the file give the file executable permission. Now here type sudo chmod plus x followed by the file name. Now move the ng-rock file to this path. Now run by using sudo ng-rock command. Congratulations! You have to learn how to install ng-rock. Let's perform an example that can help to understand how ng-rock works. For this purpose, I have an HTML web page. Click index.html to check how it looks. We are going to host this web page using Apache 2. First, we have to copy this directory to this path. Now change the directory to this path. Here type ls to check the listed file. Here rename the index.html file to index1.html using the move command. As you see it changed. Now move all the files, which are already in my website folder. Now remove the folder. Here all done. Now run Apache 2 using sudo service Apache 2 start. You can access this web page through a web browser by typing localhost. You can also access this web page using the IP address from any device without port forwarding. Let's see how. It needs only one condition that is the device and host must be connected with the same network that is your Wi-Fi or USB. I have an Android device. Here on the browser type the IP address of the host device. If you don't know what is your IP address just type the IP address. As you see this Android device successfully accessed that web page. Now turn off the Wi-Fi connection and refresh the page. As you see I can't reach this site. Here at this situation ng-rock comes in work. So now on the terminal type, sudo ng-rock. It will open the manual for ng-rock. As you see this is the basic command to establish a connection. For local web server to the internet, type ngrock http80 in your cmd terminal. I am going to copy and paste it on my terminal. Now copy a link from here and open it from the browser. Here you see we can now access that web page. Similarly, you can also send any file, photos, or host a phishing web page in this way. If you have any doubt or any query just comment. I hope you have already like, 
Share my video if not yet done do it now.